Hi guys, it's Tanza. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five tips with you that can make you a happier person immediately. When I started practicing these principles, I saw the difference right away and so can you. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Whenever I feel like I need guidance, I usually turn to Eckhart Tolle's channel. Eckhart is a spiritual teacher and he's very knowledgeable. His voice is so soothing. So if you feel like you're at that point in your life where you need assistance, you need guidance, I would highly recommend that you turn to Eckhart Tolle's channel. I'm going to link it down in the description so that you all have access to it. Okay, but that would be a great place to start. Okay, guys, so let's get to our five points. Okay, now if I rewind two years ago, I was running my business, I was making money, um, I was working seven days a week, getting four hours of sleep at night, and just imagine four hours of sleep per night and you're working seven days a week, so obviously I was grumpy, you know, I was very miserable, um, the people around me, my family, they were not happy because my attitude was not good. Um, but I felt like I was climbing this ladder and I wanted to get to the top because obviously you have goals and you want to achieve them. So you want to get as much money as possible to uh, get the things that you want. And I felt like I was going in the wrong direction because I felt like I wanted to get those things first and then I would be happy. But what I learned is that it's actually the opposite. You have to be happy first and then you achieve the things that you want. Um, so this is very important. I think everybody should know that the happiness comes first and only then do you accomplish what your goals are. Um, so that's what I want to share with you today, guys. Um, so we're going to get into our points. Okay, and um, I'm going to share the five tips with you. So tip number one, guys, is to be grateful. Be grateful for everything, everything, the breath of life, for the little things. And only then shall more be given unto you. Practice gratitude every day. Every day be thankful. Okay, so I'm going to read two verses from the Bible okay which actually states the same right on gratitude okay so the first one is thessalonians 5 that's verse 16 to 18 it says rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus Okay, now another verse is Philippians 4, that's verse 6 to 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And what he's saying, guys, is be grateful first, and only then you ask for more, and more shall be given unto you. So you don't ask for it, and then expect to get it if you're not thankful for what you already have. So a lot of you complain and say, oh, I don't have enough money, or, you know, I'm not happy and, you know, I don't have the car or the house that I want. Um, but that's not the way you start. You be thankful for what you have now and then you ask for more and you work towards that. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is enjoy the journey and not the destination. Okay, and what that means is you enjoy the moment. So enjoy the ride. Okay, so enjoy every single moment. So you don't have to wait until your business grows, but just enjoy the processes in between. Okay, because if you wait until this happens for you to be happy, you'll be waiting for a long time. Okay, and you'll be angry all throughout the way. Um, so it's very important to know that you enjoy the journey and not the destination. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to be present. 
live in the present moment. Forget the past. The past is gone. There's no way you can bring it back. Okay? There's no way you can change it. Whatever has happened has already happened. Okay? And people have to move on. Move on from that. And that's what God wants. Okay? He doesn't want anybody living in the past. And it's hard to do that. But it's very important to do that also. Okay? And I'm going to read two verses from the Bible. Okay? On this. Okay? The first one is Isaiah 43. And that's chapters 18 to 19. It says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Okay, now are you listening to this? It says, I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. If you don't keep thinking about the past, if you live in the present, he will make a way. But if you continuously live in the past, that's not going to happen. Okay, another chapter on this is Matthew 6, verses 34. It says, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself, sufficient for the day in its own trouble. So you don't have to be worried about anything. Just live in the present moment. Be present. Whatever is happening now is happening now. And we don't have to worry about tomorrow or we don't have to worry about yesterday. Okay, so that's very, very important. Okay, tip number four is to focus. And what I want to add on top of focus is to focus on improving every single day. Okay, now when you focus, you're not letting distractions get to you. Okay, and that's, it brings back the point of being present because you're, you're focused and you're not really thinking about anything else than what you're doing at the present moment. Okay, and focus on improving yourself every single day, becoming a better person every single day. Okay, being kinder, you know, being more respectful, you know, focus on becoming happier, making others happy. Okay, now I want to read two, three verses actually on being focused. Okay, we have Colossians 3 verses 2. It says, set your mind on things that are above, not things that are on earth. Okay, now Proverbs 4 verses 25, it says, let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze straight before you. Okay, and we have Psalms 1, that's verses 1 to 16, and it says, Blessed be the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, that yields its fruits in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. Okay, so he says that here. The wicked are not so, but are, a, are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So it says so right here, guys. Okay, he says, but his delight in the law of the Lord and on his law, he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruits in its seasons and its leaf does not wither. Okay, so that's very important to be focused and focus on yourself in Proving yourself day and night. My fifth and final point is acceptance. Accept every moment as it is. 
that's very powerful accepted good or bad and good and bad is our perspective right like there's really it's our perspective because what may be good for me may be bad for you etc but accept every moment as it is good or bad okay you accept it and then you move on from it okay now sometimes things may happen to us and we may not see the good in it but we all know that the good is coming okay because they always say there's a silver lining to everything okay so and i have a scripture in the bible from hebrew 12 verses 11 verse 11 it says, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it heals the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. And what he means by to those who might be, who do, to those who have been trained by it are those who are practicing the principles. Okay, so going back to the principles. To those who are practicing the principles of gratitude, being grateful for everything, good or bad, you're just grateful. Number two is to enjoy the journey, not the destination. You don't have to get there to be happy. Be happy now. Okay, number three, be present in the moment number four is to be focused whatever you're doing you focus on that and focus on improving yourself every single day okay and we have our fifth and final point which is acceptance accept every moment as it is because there's a reason for it and you will find the reason out later okay because um, nothing is by chance. Everything happens for a reason. Yes, yeah, so again, it says, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Okay, guys, so these were my five tips. I hope you liked it, and I hope you put it into practice immediately. Okay, and you shall reap the rewards. Um, I can guarantee you that because I did and I'm speaking from, from personal experience. Okay, so I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, and if you want to see more videos like this, let me know and I can have some more for you. Thanks for watching.